Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing that in that is. location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Standing in now, Nick Ahmed. Hit on the ground to third. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That Daddy lawn God. dart felt that so good. good. Oh, okay. dear, this guy's been due. Oh, he he really up. needed that one. Into the box, Jose Osuna. Swing and a miss, strike two. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Line toward right center. In there, a base hit. And there's probably no the right happier person 10. in the ballpark. Adam. Jose Osuna has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head he's on top of the world. Into the box now, Adam Jones. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And both runners will score as they've taken the lead here at three to one. Yeah, wow, this is a perfect example six. of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. In now, David Peralta. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches. And ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the shoot. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. But that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Standing in now, Alex Avila. This is pulled into right. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Well, we've already the had some hard hit balls in the first two innings Eduardo. here. And here's another one. Escobar. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Into the box, Eduardo Escobar. All even now, two and two. Four runs here in this half inning. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two run shot to straight away left home run number 16 for him on the year as it's now a six run ball game. 
well when it left its bat. I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound. And that is going to be all now for Clayton Richard. So he'll exit here this afternoon to more than a handful of boos, I'm sure, after what can only be described as a terrible pitching performance. Thomas Pannoni, the lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Into the box now, Gerard Dyson. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Tellez on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Blue Jays one. Here's the catcher Luke Maley. He starts the inning and then they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing. Well first of all Matt I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six. But base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Hit hard to short backhanded. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Nick Ahmed. Defense is this guy's calling card. One of the slickest defenders in our game. Super sure-handed and doesn't get enough love on the defensive side of the ball. Brandon Drury will bat next and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for from the windup the one one pitch just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. The one two. Liner toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Batting seven. The left fielder. Day off curve. So a runner at first with one man gone. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. First with one out. That's and he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now and they're a fun watch. The 2 2 in the air to right center coming in is Jones. He makes the play really had to hustle to get to that one two gone now. Batting it. The right fielder, number 44. Stepping in for the Jays, Rowdy Tellers. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 2 1 home, smoked on the ground left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit.
He's been cold. Batting average fell Batting below 230, but that knock that's might have put him hitter. in a positive frame of Number mind. Nine. Hopefully that's the start of something big right now. Stepping in now, Danny Jansen. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Count even at two and two. Two down, runners at first and second. And it's a full count, three and two to the Blue Jays' DH. Justin Smoke would be next. Count is full, here's the pitch. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. That's a big no-no. Okay. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Digging in, Justin Smoke. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, Matt, that last at-bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. The 2-1 home fouled off. Bases are loaded here, two down. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Blue Jays strand three. They're down seven to one. Back now here at Rogers Center, and here's Heidi. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. At the plate, Hildemaro Vargas. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 1 home is strike two swinging. There's a called strike on a changeup, not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting the first baseman, Christian Walker. Standing in, Christian Walker. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Three and one to him now. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. The bat, number 13, shortstop. So a runner at first with one out now. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. 
Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really the close. Batter. Called the, the ball. What does he do? He comes Jose. back with a better pitch oh, and gets the punch out. Standing in now, Jose Osuna, lying towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're on top 7-1. to one. Welcome back. As the Blue Jays look to get their bats going in the third inning, and you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening, so he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now the one and one pitch is a fastball that misses. Hit back up the middle. Ahmed has it. Throw and he's called out on a close play at first. Now that is the shortstop. Ready. Galvis. So digging in now, Freddie Galvis. He flew out in his last at bat. The 2 1 is a fastball taken high for a ball. Rendell Gritchick waits on deck. The 3 and 1 pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now that the center fielder. Right Here's Randall right Richard. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. One and two now. attempt that time but they'll say he broke the plane and that's out number two fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there in now Luke Maley Nope. Fastball That's runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Here now the 2-2. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Galvis, the runner at first with two gone. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Blue Jays held in check. They're down seven to one. So it's back to the top of the order now and that'll bring in the right fielder Adam Jones.
Three and one. Here it is. Three and two. Full count. Now the three and two pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another one sent foul. The three two one more time. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth. Now batting number six. So the base is empty here with one away and up next the outfielder David Peralta. Bases are empty one man out. Here now the two two. Into center field, line drive, base hit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a now slump, but this guy was the too catcher. good. You knew it was Alley. a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Into the box now. Alex Avila. Three, three, one. three, three and one now. Eduardo Escobar waits on deck. Seven runs, nine hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Eight. And a full count now. Three and two. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. The next 3-2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo. Digging in and looking for more, Eduardo Escobar. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some nope. off speed pitches. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. The three one takes a strike for a full count now three and two full count with two outs now so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Now batting the center fielder, Gerard Dyson. In now, Gerard Dyson. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? And the 2 1. Yeah. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Peralta on second, Escobar at first, two out in the inning. 
fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next three, two. Might have swung at ball four there as he manages to foul this one away. Seven runs, nine hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Diamondbacks strand a pair. They're on top seven to one. Stepping in, Brendan Drury, one for one after a single this first time up. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, this guy's been slumping at the plate. Saw his average now fall batting. below 240 prior to this at bat. Stay that knock girl. had to feel good. Stepping in now, Teoscar Hernandez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Hernandez is below the Mendoza line, a batting average under 200, unfortunately. Matty, he struggled this season against left-handed pitching, but maybe a little shot of confidence with the manager putting him in the lineup today. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely the down ball. around the bottom Double of the zone. 24. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Into the box, Rowdy Tellers. And he fouls this one off. The one two is a slider taken for a ball. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The batter, number nine. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Danny Jansen. He drew a walk his first time up. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. 1 and 2. Hit on the ground to third. Pro on to second for the force, and the side is retired. One left for Toronto. They're down seven to one. Now at the plate, Hildemaro Vargas. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The two one home is taken for strike two. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Yeah. 
Here now the 2-2. Pops this one up. Maley over to his left. One down. Now batting the first baseman, Christian Walker. Stepping in, Christian Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. Hit toward the right side. Over to smoke at first, and there are two away. The bat number 13. Good shot. Nick Ahmed. Settling in now, Nick Ahmed. He's one for two in this one. Two out, nobody on. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Jose Osuna would be next. The 3 1. Belted high in the air out to left. Hernandez racing back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They're on top seven to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Next to bat for Toronto, Justin Smoke. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. The one-two. Misses, That's ball two. Two balls, two, ball, two strikes. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Avila recovers. He'll throw down to first, one away. No batter, Here's no Eric Sogard. 0 for 2 man. from him so far in this one. The 3 and 1 pitch. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's a 7-2 game now. There's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. In now, Freddie Galvis. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That's his first base hit. Making one for two now. Hey, there's a bullet down the right field line. That had double now written all over, but a Better great job there. by the right fielder Fred to cut Gold. it off and keep him to a single. Rick nice Rick. aggressive turn by the batter right there, but hats off to the right fielder to keep him from getting the scoring position. Ready now, Rendell Gritchick. One in, one out, and one on here in the end. Pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Looking to send him packing again. In the dirt, and now let's see. 
And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Line towards center field. Dyson is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting, catcher, Luke Maley. Now with the plate, Luke Maley, runner in scoring position with two gone. Galvis at second with two down. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. Final strike for the Blue Jays. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very now effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that Red coin. Here. He starts this one too Holy. far inside and plunks the hitter. Batting, Brendan Drury. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Now a swing, and, and this should do it. He's got it, and the Diamondbacks will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 7-2, to the final score this afternoon. The Diamondbacks wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Robbie Ray earned his fifth win of the year. Clayton Richard allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.